Good morning. I hope that you're well. I'm grateful that you would be potentially willing to review the work that I've created. The genre of the book is science fiction. Warner Von Braun did something similar in the 50s. He wrote a book called Mission to Mars, and the men and women of the United States of America would coalesce around this idea. So this is similar to that. The main themes are unity and protection of children. If there's a joint economic interest, that fosters collaboration. Because if you make money when I make money, and I make money when you make money, you're no longer an enemy, you're a friend. There's a lot of divisiveness in the world today, which doesn't make much sense. And this project, if we did something like it, we'd get rid of it in the next five years and then 50 years. I wrote this book as if I was the main character. There are two sidekicks. One is Alexei Prachovsky. He is a Russian Navy officer who joins Winston, as well as Naoko Okara, a medical doctor from Nagoya, Japan. And the antagonist, the villain, is Secretary General Beth Lodge, who initially is a supporter of everything that Alexei and Naoko and Winston are doing. But in reality, she is the hero for many, many investors who would like to see profits raise 100 years ahead, 200 years ahead, 2,000 years ahead, 2 million years ahead, 2 billion years ahead. In 2 billion years, the sun's luminosity would have grown, oceans will have boiled away, and this will turn the Earth's atmosphere into a moist sauna. There's a great amount of thermal input above the Earth. The same requirements which gave rise to the cycle of precipitation and condensation is the crux of the entire plot. Getting to other destinations is not that hard if we just had an affordable means of transportation. And with that, thank you for your time and listening to my message. I don't take for granted the fact that you would consider reading the story. I hope again that you're well, and I look forward to our next conversation. Please have a good morning.